Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Unofficial signage and mod 10.1 nightlies have arrived. That's right, Flash Junkies rejoice. You can get your nightly fix here in the XDA Developers Forum. Come check it out in the link in the description below. Recognized developer Milak has put together a great signage and mod 10.1 thread for us. Nice JPEG download links. Here's the ROMs, the GApps. You can check out the changes, the device commits, the kernel commits, and the issue tracker here. Find out all the issues with the builds. Great to see. Thanks to him for putting this all together for us. As always, we must give thanks to our talented developers who push development along on the HP Touchpad and keep it going. So I'd highly recommend popping in the forums, just give me a big old thank you to everyone involved, and perhaps buying them a cup of coffee for their efforts. Tell them you want to see development continue on the HP Touchpad. Thanks guys, this is all going great. Now I've got my own little thread over at Roots Wiki that talks about all the various signage and mod 10.1 ROMs. And I summarize what's going on and what's been happening with the various builds, so you can come check it out. Now in this particular build, we have a nice low battery drain, say at minus 4 to minus 30, which is quite comparable to Cyanogen Mod 9 and 10. Now hardware video acceleration works, you can watch your HD YouTube videos, local content and all that. Now Bluetooth is not working and is not working in any of the Cyanogen Mod 10.1 builds for the HP Touchpad currently, but hopefully we'll see it in the future. Uh, now the camera does work, the proof of concept is there, uh, but there is a high battery drain. Uh, now this was disabled in this build, but we will see it in the future, so look for that. Now an additional little note is you can enable USB mass storage with this build. Uh, you will need to do it manually, so you'll have to go to settings, storage, look for the three dots in the upper right hand corner, and tap computer connection and enable mass storage by selecting it from the list. So that's great to see, extra options popping up. Check it out, I have got all the notes and info posted here. Now something that's great about having a nightly is we can use the Goo Manager with it. Now the Goo Manager is a download manager for our ROMs. It helps us to download and install them. So you get this great free app from the Play Store and it'll let you know when new ROMs are available. With Goo Manager, we can check for updates by clicking the button. You can see a notification popped up in the upper left, letting me know there's a new ROM for flashing. It's a great and handy application to have. You can also use an automatic install after you install the open script recovery here. You'll install this reboot and then it'll automatically flash ROMs for you. You'll download them and you can do everything automatically. You'll see there's a flash ROM button here. It's a great app to have and great to have this working again on the HP touchpad in conjunction with our ROMs. Now something else to show you is I've done a slight benchmark comparison with Cyanogen Mod 10 and 10.1 using the N22 benchmark. Now this gave us just a slight 300 point difference in performance, so that's actually quite good. So we won't have to sacrifice complete performance just to try out a new ROM. So this is actually fairly spiffy running for a newer build. So rest assured it will run decently. And I'll just show you. HD playback is working just fine. We'll play an HD video on YouTube. Show you how to play Doom 3 on Android. Hello Android gamers, today I'm going to show you how to play Doom 3 on your Android device. As you can see it's running in HD. Waiting here on the train for my partner. A likely story. To investigate what was going on, but he never came back. And now I don't, I don't... Seems to load reasonably well, it is in HD. Skip it around a bit. Yep. If you want to learn how to play Doom 3 on Android, you can check the description of the video for a link to that. Looking pretty good. Well, there you have it, development continuing on the HP Touchpad with Cyanogen Mod 10.1. Come check it out here in the forums and thank our talented developers. Please subscribe to see the latest updates on the HP Touchpad and Cyanogen Mod 10.1 and like the video so more people will see it. Thanks for watching everyone.